in a medley. Heaven. For sheep, it is the company of sheep. For the wolf, it is the company of sheep too. For the dog, it is the company of almost anyone at all. For the cat, it is all about mice and birds and fish and never saying thank you. For the red kite, it is the scent of roadkill. For the shark, it is the scent of blood. For the dolphin, the hop, skip and plunge through a silvering shoal, it is the game. For the cockroach, it's an endless kitchen of crumbs. For the worm, the drum of unexpected rain. For the bumblebee, a meadow all of her own. For the dung beetle, it's the sight of an elephant straining. <laughs> For the termite, it is orderly and signed in triplicate. For the koala, it is the uninterrupted, slow-chewing hug of sleep. For the hedgehog, it's a cuddle. For the chameleon, it is certainty. For the bat, it is the sound of the darkness filled with flying flecks. For the bonobo, it is just sex. For the zebra, a chance at last to get out of these pyjamas. <laughs> Remember the bands and the grand parades, the flags, the banners, the fine cockades, and how we all looked up to see the king upon the balcony. Who told us we were young and brave, we'd never become the foreigner's slave. If the foreigner comes off best, he said, you'll be better off dead. This was a couple of weeks before we got killed in the war. Remember the drums and trumpets played when we set sail on the great crusade and how we all looked up to see the clergyman on the quay who told us we were grand and good to fight for God as good men should. If the enemy comes off best, he said, you'll be better off dead. This was a couple of days before we got killed in the war. Remember the night before the raid when the guns began the cannonade and how we all looked up to see the captain of the company who told us we were bold and strong that fame and glory spur us on if the enemy comes off best he said you'll be better off dead this was a couple of hours before you were killed in the war Remember the shock of the ambuscade, remember the terrible fusillade and how we all looked up to see the curious face of the enemy who was young and shabby and seemed to be about as foreign as you or me. I never did catch what the poor sod said when he made sure we were dead. This was a couple of shakes before we got killed in the war. <laughs> 